Emmerdale's been home to its fair share of extraordinary drama. But now a very different kind of real life excitement is on the way. For the very first time, the cast of Emmerdale are throwing open the doors of this iconic Yorkshire set to host a unique First World War centenary street party. Men less than half my age gave their lives for the country. To honor the British men and women who made huge sacrifices during the Great War. We can never forget what these men did for us. A host of Emmerdale's most famous faces, old and new, are about to leave the set behind and step back a hundred years into the past to celebrate the lives of unsung local heroes who drove the war effort. I consider myself quite a strong woman, but these women were a different kind of breed. From Woolpack chef to the real wartime cook. This is a catastrophe. Village vicar to the battlefield priest. Tele farmer to the real country land girl and Emmerdale vet to the real frontline vet. The weight of responsibility on that man's shoulders is amazing. The cast of one of Britain's favourite soaps will uncover the extraordinary stories of these remarkable British men and women, who will be honoured when the cast come together to host their very own Emmerdale Armistice celebration. Tonight... I've got a gun, I'm warning you. Actor Natalie J. Robb, best known as feisty farmer Moira Dingle... Car downs her tools and sets off on the trail of an astonishing Yorkshire city girl who led the way in Britain's very first women's land army. Our country wouldn't be the country it is today without these people and we have to remember that is so important. The farm at the heart of Emmerdale has been home to some spectacular highs and lows. One more push! Ah! But a hundred years ago, the Yorkshire farms surrounding Eshult, the real village Emmerdale is based on, faced their darkest hour. Have a good day. Bye, Enjoy Pierre. Enjoy well. Well. Natalie plays the matriarch of a modern day farming family. But today she's about to get a glimpse into what happened to the local farms during the Great War and uncover how one young woman was determined to make a difference. Okay, gladiator, ready. And she doesn't have to travel far to begin her journey. The Emmerdale set sits on the estate of Grand Harwood House. I'm really excited. Come with me. And Natalie's come here to meet an expert in rural history. Nicola, nice to meet you. Nicola Verdon. So, if I show you this photograph here. Oh, wow. This is Clara Bill. Clara Bill. She's 19 years old. And this is a picture of her in a street in Sheffield. The daughter of a brewer, at the outbreak of war, Clara Bill lived with her parents and six brothers and sisters in the centre of industrial Sheffield. It's like she looks quite happy there, doesn't she? She looks great. <laughs> thing. And she decides that she needs to join the war effort. By 1917, the threat of German submarines was stopping food arriving into the country. And with 170,000 farm workers leaving their fields for the Western Front, suddenly Britain was on the brink of starvation. So by the, the middle of the war, there are real problems. We were running out of food, basically. So in 1917, the government started a new land army, the Women's Land, land Army. Land Army, yeah. <sighs> Desperate to do her bit, Clara, alongside hundreds of thousands of other young women, immediately signed up. They had to be willing to be sent anywhere okay. in the country. They were young, unmarried women. Of course. Um, and this is hard work. This is physical labor. So working with horses, working with livestock, all those types of skilled work. If they thought that these um, young women had some time. proficiency, then they would send them straight out right. onto the farms. And in fact, we think that's what happened with Clara. OK. But unlike most of the new land girls, Clara saw this as an opportunity to do more than just work the fields. 